Okay, hi guys and gals. Um, I get this question quite a lot and it's how, if you've written a function, can you turn that function into um, an object orientated program? So you create the same sort of function but using classes and objects. So I had to think about this and I think I found um, a simple way to explain it to you. So we're gonna create a functional program. So just a, a quick function that will tell a joke. And then I'm gonna show you how to design the same function but um, using object orientation classes uh, create constructors and objects so the first thing we do is create the function that we want so it's going to comment and say um, this function tells a joke and then we're going to create our function so I'm going to define a function and I'm going to call it uh, tell because we're going to be telling a joke and then going to give it some parameters and it's going to have an intro and we'll also give it a punchline. Okay, that's fine. So then we need to actually create the function. So we're going to have some print statements and what this is going to do is sort of structure our joke and say knock, knock and then what we are going to have is print uh, who's there. And then we will have print intro. And then we'll have uh, print and we'll do intro. Plus, uh, who? And then the punchline. So hopefully you've kind of got an idea of how this is going to work. So let's um, get this to actually run. So we'll do tell. And you can see there we want the intro and the punchline. So the intro will be uh, a -C -T -C -H -H. and then we will have the punchline, which could be something like um, sounds like you have a cold. So that should work, so let's give that a go and we'll run it. And we can see here, knock knock, who's there, at, at you, sounds like you have a cold, don't give it to me. Okay, and process finished. So let's minimize this. <clears throat> so that is our function created. Now let's recreate this using object orientation, so we'll call this uh, joke using and we shall create our class and we'll call our class joke and our joke will uh, have a constructor so let's get the destruct constructor def and we'll do the underscore uh, init method and we're going to pass it some parameters and we're going to pass it the same as before we're going to pass it intro And we're going to pass it punchline. Okay. So the init the uh, init method is basically the rule for what parameters we're going to pass it. So we're going to pass it itself, intro and punchline. So hopefully you've watched my previous video on uh, basic introduction to object orientation, so you should know what this line is doing. Uh, if not, go back and check that video out. Uh, and then what we're going to do is we are going to define its sort of its properties or attributes. I'm going to go self dot intro will equal the intro, and then we'll do self dot uh, punchline 
will equal the punchline. Okay, and that's essentially our class blueprint uh, it's sort of done. So we now want to define a method, and that method's going to be tell joke. So define, um, we'll call it tell. And then we are going to, we could actually copy this and we'll make a few changes to this. So just save us a bit of time. So what we're going to do is rather than have intro, we're going to be calling self dot intro. And same again here. And then here we'll call self.punchline. Self.punchline. Okay, so that's our method created. So now what we can do is we can instantiate a joke. We'll call it my joke. It's going to equal a joke. So the joke class. And we're going to give it what it wants, which it wants the intro and it wants the punchline. So we can save ourselves time again here and just copy that from up here. And we'll pop that in there. Okay, and then we just need to run the method, which would be my joke dot um, tell. And this should work if everything's okay. So let's uh, run it now. And we can see there that it has run. Um, what I will do is just to differentiate between the two. What I will do is here between the two, I'll put print. Let's see this OOP. And remembering our. Okay. So let's run that again. Okay, we see knock knock, who's there? Ach, achi. Sounds like you have a cold, don't give it to me. And then we've got let's see this in OOP. Knock knock, who's there? Ach, achi. Sounds like you have a cold, don't give it to me. So exactly the same thing, uh, one using a function, so the function here, and one using object orientation here. I hope that's been helpful um, just to give you an idea of how you can move uh, some of your code from using functions to using object orientation. If you've got any questions or any comments or anything you'd like to discuss, please comment below. Uh, it'd be great to um, get some discussions going on this and how you're using object orientation or how you use functions. Do you prefer functions to OOP or OOP to functions and it just would be really nice to do that. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share and if there's any specific videos you want either comment below or follow me and uh, tweet me on my Twitter account. Thanks a lot guys and girls, see you next time.